Happy Independence Day, everybody. Ricky the Manny Gabbing, thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse in Granville, Pennsylvania, on Monday evening, the 4th of July. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 this evening, folks. 6.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile test on the turf course. Three-year-olds and up race for an optional claiming purse of some $36,000. Contenders number 4, deal-making. Number seven, Awesome Sun. Number five, Perfect Footprint. And number six, Saco River. Number four, Deal Making, is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this optional claiming field. Racing at tonight's distance of a mile on the dirt is one of three or five in his career to date. Racing at tonight's distance has hit the board in three of his last four outings overall. Number seven, Awesome Sun, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, including a power run win in his fourth race back in a race which was contested at tonight's Trackmaster Plus class level of 104. Race 5 summary, number 4, Deal Making, tops my contenders list tonight, which also includes number 6, Awesome Sun, number 5, Perfect Footprint, and number 6, Saco River, 4, 7, 5, 6 in the 5th tonight from Penn National. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Colonial Downs first. Race eight here in the fifty thousand dollar punchline stakes. The four to one shot. Number three, Rock the Bop, the overall speed leader in this field, sprinting at today's distance of five furlongs on the grass. Finger Lakes race four. Entry number two, Cosmo Babe, six to one in the morning line, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of the last five, including a power run win fifth race back. So from Penn National on the 4th of July, Rick Needham for DayAtTheTrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.